Hey, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today we're going to go over workout breakdown for speed upper. Now, what you're going to see in this video is how we break down speed work, how we utilize it, and some tricks that I have used over the last 20 years to break world records and increase my potential. So let's get to it. <laughs> Now, as you'll see in the first part of this video, we're doing the classic winning warm-up. We're utilizing a flat dumbbell press, and the reason we're doing flat dumbbells today is because we're gonna bench with a flat, with a flat bench. So if we were actually gonna do inclines or declines for the speed work or max work, which is occasionally the case, we would do it on an incline or decline and match the exact angle in which we wanna press. Law of specificity, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attack two major weaknesses. Well, one, we know we need more upper back. All of us need more upper back based on posture, keeping shoulders healthy, and keeping positioning on the bench press. So what we need to do on the wide grip lat pull down is start to warm up and get the upper back strong, tight, and ready to stabilize what we want to press that day. The next thing we're going to do is cross body grenade triceps. So as you can see in this exercise, we're actually taking the cable and going across the body. What I like about this particular movement is the fact that you can't really cheat with it. When you go in across the body, it forces you to have to use all of your triceps in order to do that particular motion. So when you're doing regular tricep push downs, you can actually start rolling your shoulder as we're show in this video. But with a grenade tricep, that doesn't help you complete the lift at all. So that's why I like using a lot of cross body grenade triceps, especially for beginners and intermediate lifters, and especially in the warm up to isolate the actual muscle. Now, case in point, four sets of 25. So think about this we're doing 100 dumbbell presses, 100 lap pull downs, and 100 cross body triceps before we even touch the bench press. Now, there's a handful of things that this does. One, it fixes weaknesses. So 66% of the work is weakness based. The next thing it does is it actually warms up the specific motor pattern in which you're gonna use. Now, all of this combined over the course of many months and years is a ton of extra volume that's not only gonna keep you safe, but also start putting on quality muscle, increasing ligament and tendon and bone density, which we all know is gonna reduce injury. The next thing you're gonna see in this video is us doing speed bench. Now, speed bench today, we opted to utilize a football bar with 30% of the weight plus three chain, which is 120 pounds of chain. Okay, now 30% for me is roughly 180 to 185 pounds. We're basing this off of 600 pounds, something that I have benched before. So what I want you guys to understand is on the speed bench, base it off of a weight you have already completed. Do not base it off of a theoretical weight. So if you've done 225 for 10 on the bench, it doesn't necessarily mean you can bench 300, okay? It should, but it may not. The point is, is you base it off of a current one rep max, not a dream, okay? What you do and what you're gonna see in this particular setting is, look at how many times we change what we do when we're doing speed work. We do it with feet down, feet up, right? We do a ratchet style setting where we're almost ratcheting on the way down to mess up the timing. We do pauses and we do slower eccentrics, which is good for hypertrophy. So if you're doing speed work in a hypertrophy phase, which if you have the hypertrophy manual, you've probably already seen this, you can slow down the eccentric phase to increase time under tension. What I like about doing what we just did in this video and what you just saw is the fact that we're mixing that up every set. Now this is more of an advanced style, right? So if I give, say, a ratchet set of all eight sets of speed work to myself, it's gonna be easy and it's not gonna be a big deal. But for an, an intermediate or beginner, if I'm rotating those different ones all the time, it can be really hard. Like we saw in the video with Jim, Jim's a great tennis player. He's not necessarily a power lifter, but he's still utilizing speed work. And you saw when we made him change what we had to do set to set, it confused his central nervous system. The point is, is that when your body's confused, whether it's at the muscle or the central nervous system, what you start finding is that you're actually getting more out of the lift when the body or the CNS is confused. Meaning that law of accommodation sets in. Once you have understood the work in which is being displayed, the body doesn't have near the stimulation to it, okay? So that's why I like to change at the advanced level. We change what we do every set. Now, one of the most important things that we did over the course of today was accessories. Now, accessories are directly correlated with weaknesses, okay? So what you need to do is 
put the biggest weakness first. For most of us, including myself, it's all about what the triceps can lift. So you see the first exercise that we utilized for speed benching for accessories was arms. Why? Because arms are gonna be the limiting factor for how much you can bench press, not your chest. Okay, so we smashed them with these rollbacks where we're actually pausing on the chin. We're utilizing the similar setup for speed work. So if we're crushed for time or maybe we just don't have a lot of ideas, sometimes the stuff you already have set up can be utilized in a different way. And as you can see there, we're really trying not to rock back with it to take the shoulder out and try and put it mostly in the tricep. So that's why when we go to down, it's a straight extension up. We're not rocking with it, we're using momentum. Then we went to back. Okay, so the next thing that most people are gonna have an issue with, it's either gonna cause injury or cause a lackluster performance, is the amount of back muscle in which they can stabilize what they wanna press. So what you saw is us using the winning tricep machine and utilizing it for rows. It's one of my favorite row machines. The way the angle works and how it gets harder at the top really forces you to focus on squeezing your lats. Okay, so as you can see, biggest weakness, then weakness two, and then this one could even be put in the front, but we put it in the back because it takes the least amount of energy to do. And that's dumbbell internal and external rotators off of a foam block. Now you can do these off of a floor or off of a normal bench press. I like the foam block because it sinks my elbow in. It keeps me from moving around as much. But the internal external rotators or working rotator cuff and all those small shoulder muscles tend to be a huge factor in not only how strong you can get, but how long you last. So when you have very, very strong rotator cuffs, they tend to not get messed up, they tend to not get torn, and they tend to allow you to bench for tens if not 20 years plus. So I've never really had any shoulder issues and a lot of it's because I think I do a lot of shoulder internal and external rotator work to balance all this out. So my point is when you guys are working out, always have a purpose. Notice that everything that I put on the board and everything that you saw today on this video had a purpose. Don't just walk into the gym and base your purpose off which muscle groups you're gonna to react today, right? Or which ones you're gonna do. It's not a chest and tries or a back and buys day. Change it into more of a sport specific ideal and start to understand that there's more going on than just progressing in your lifts. You have to sustain posture, you have to, to sustain the forward to backward pressure, and you have to always be dictating your training based on your weaknesses. So if you need any more help, come on to online coaching or at the very least, join Patreon and Train Heroic where we show you workouts and answer questions constantly. Thanks for watching.